tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do the, uh, the iPod effect or the silhouette effect. And uh, you start out by getting a picture on the green screen. And so I have an example here. And then the first thing we need to do is we need to add a new layer. So I'm going to go down here, click the new layer button. It's transparent and you can tell because it has a, um, the checker boxes on it. So if I'm like to hide this layer, you can see that there it is. Okay, then you need to make this layer filled with a color. So to do that, you go to Edit and Fill, and you can choose choose color, and then that'll take you to this, and you can just choose any color you want. I'm just gonna go with the purple. Okay, and so now that box is filled with purple, but we can't see that layer unless we go like this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the green so that we can see um, just the image. So to do that, you go up here and you choose Object Selection Tool. And then you just drag around the subject. Oh, I made a mistake. I was not on the layer, so Command-D. It's good you saw that mistake. Be sure I'm on the layer of the subject. And once again, I'm going to do the um, Object Selection Tool. And it selects my subject. Now, one, you can notice that the subject is selected because you have the ant lines, is what I like to call them, around the subject. So now I'm going to do a select inverse. So now it's selecting everything outside the subject. I'm simply going to hit the delete button, and now the subject is, um, the, the background is gone. I'm going to get rid of these selection um, ant lines by doing Command D. Right? Now what I want to do is I want to make this subject so they're a silhouette. And so I go up to Image, I go up to Adjustments, and I go to Hue and Saturation. And from there, you just take the lightness and drop it down. Now some students like to only drop it down a certain amount. Others like to go all the way. It's kind of up to you, the look that you're trying to get. Um, I often will do this. I'll bring the saturation down so it's black and white, and then I'll kind of drop it like that. It kind of has a cool effect, but you decide what it is you're looking for. Okay, um, all black or just a little bit showing. Okay, and so now I have the iPad effect. And I can do different things with this. Um, I could do Command T to transform it. I could make it smaller, bigger. I could um, rotate it, um, whatever I want to do. Um, once I've done a change, I hit the check mark. If I don't like the change I made, you can just do Command Z and it'll take it back to normal. Um, if you have to go back several steps, you do Command Z several times. Uh, a few other things I could do here um, to change positions. I could go to, um, let's see, uh, image, give me one second, no, edit, and go to uh, transform and I can do a, a flip. Okay, um, once again, I guess you just play with this. There's a lot of different things you can do. You can change the size, scale of it, um, flip it other ways, rotate it, whatever you want. Um, but I always like to use this Command T free transform tool because it just kind of lets me change size and anything I want all in one shot. Another thing you could do, let's say you wanted to have more than one image, you could duplicate it. So if you go over here, right click and do uh, duplicate layer, um, and give it a name. I'll just say twin um, and just drag it over and you can have two of them and you could make the other one smaller if you want to. Um, you could flip it. Okay. You can be creative and do whatever you want. But for now, I'm just going to take it back to the single layer. So I'm doing command Z until I get it back to normal. Uh, the last thing I want to do is I want to add some headphones and an iPod way back in the day, that's what people used. Um, so first of all, to make the iPod, I'm gonna go to my objects tool, I'm gonna choose a rectangle. I'm gonna make sure that this is white, um, actually where it says fill, make sure fill is white. Stroke, I'm gonna make sure it's transparent so it doesn't show up. Um, and then I'm gonna make a box. All right, now if I just click on this tool up here, the move tool, it just makes it like that, and I can put this box anywhere I want. And once again, I can 
I can grab the corner, I can do Command T, mm -hmm. and then I can grab the corners, I can rotate it, um, whatever I want. Um, once I've, I can make it smaller, which this is a pretty big iPod, so I'm gonna make it much smaller, okay? So it's a little more realistic. Once it's the size I want, hit the checkbox, and now I have that. And I'm gonna drag this and just kind of have it so that um, uh, she is holding it. If I want this to be underneath her arm, I would just simply um, drag it down here and it would be underneath the hand. So if you can kind of manipulate that any way you want to. Uh, once again, I think it's a little big still, so I'm gonna do that Command T one more time. I'm gonna make it smaller, okay? All right, so the last thing I need to do is I need to make some headphones, the old school wired headphones. And so I'm gonna go over here to my brush tool. Now my size is 12 right now. I'm just gonna do a quick, oh, I wanna be on that layer again. I'm just gonna do a quick draw and see what happens. Yeah, that's a little big maybe, so Command Z. To make the size, it says 12 here. I'm gonna bring it down slightly. I could either slide this or just type in a number. I'm gonna go with 10, okay? And let's see how that looks. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go a little bit smaller because remember these are wired headphones. So let's go to like a six, okay? And there, that looks better. So what I wanna do is obviously wanna go to the ears and so I'm gonna have it coming right out of the iPod and just drag it up to the ears. Okay, I'm gonna do another one and you know have it drag up to this ear. Um, if I wanna look at like a pair of headphones, I might just kind of scribble and make it a little bit bigger right here. Okay, all right, okay. And that's the effect. Now once again, if I wanted the cables to come from the back, um, oh actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna do this again. I'm going to put the, I'm going to make sure I make a new layer for that, okay? And then I'm gonna draw the headphones. The reason for that is it allows me to uh, move those around separately, okay? I probably should have done the same thing to the box. So, I mean that, so just, just, oops, Command, Command Z, Command Z. Um, so here, there's my rectangle. Um, so, so we, see, I can move that, and does it let me move it? It lets me move that separately. So I could do some things like, let's say I wanted that to be underneath, you know, her like that. Whatever I want to do. But anyway, so I'm going to Command Z, kind of get it back to where I started. So that's basically all you do. Um, if you want to add some text to it, you know, um, and you could, that's pretty small text. So let's see, text. I'm gonna undo that for a second. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in on this a little bit. My text is a little small, so I'm just gonna delete that and do my text again, but I'm gonna start. Um, is that 300? Actually, that's a pretty good size. Whoa, Command Z. I'm not sure what happened there, um, but I'm gonna Command Z to undo it. And one more time, I think my text was just way too big. So I'm gonna go up here, um, change this from wide, oh, white, that's fine. Uh, let's bring this down to like, I don't know, 50 and see what that looks like. Okay, and then you can just type, you know, dance. Kind of came off my screen here, so I'll move it over. Um, and it, it puts some text in here I don't want, so I'm just gonna click here and just delete that part. And delete it, okay. And there it is. Um, you know, you can, you can do a few other things, uh, like you can put a stroke around the text, etc. But basically, that's how you do it.